Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain you the use of the variables in a C program. How we can declare what are the naming conventions of the variable, the syntax of the variable and how we can assign the values in the variables. A variable is an identifier that denotes a storage location used to store a data value. A variable may take different values at a different times during the execution of the program. Sometimes the variable is also called as the quantity, the storage location of the memory where our inputted value is going to store with the help of these variables which are also called as identifiers. And during the execution of the program we may change the values of these variables. There are some rules for naming the variables. Variable names may consist of alphabets, digits, underscores and dollar characters and they must not begin with a digit. Means your variable name should not start with the digit. Uppercase and lowercase are distinct. It means that whenever we declare a variable say total the T capital and rest of the alphabets are small is not same as total or total. So we have mentioned uh, small letter total and capital letter total. So all these three variables are different. So it will not considered as a single variable. It is considered as three different variables. Okay. And while declaring the variables, the key keyword should not be the part of the variable. Okay. It should not be a keyword and white space is not allowed. So we should not use a white space to declare the variable. The length of the variable name cannot exceed 8 character and some of the C compiler can be recognized up to 31 character. Okay. So our name uh, may extend up to 31 character, not beyond 31 character. And no commas or blank space are allowed within a variable names. Okay. So we should not use any space, blank spaces or commas. Okay. So if you put the comma, it will treat as before the comma is one variable, after the comma is another variable. Declaration of the variables. So variables are the names of the storage locations. Hence, a variable must be declared before it is used in the program. A variable can be used to store a value of any data type. After designing the variable names, we must declare them to the compiler. Declaration does three things. One, the declaration tells the compilers what the variable name is and it also specifies what type of data the variable will hold. And third is the place of declaration decides the scope of the variable. Okay. The third point says that the place decides the scope of the variable. So where actually we are declaring the variable based on that the scope of the variable varies. If we declare before the main it will treat it as the global variable and scope is available to all the functions. If we declare within the function the scope is restricted to that function. The primary type declaration is the data type variable 1 comma variable 2 dash dash variable number n and semicolon. The data type may be any data type. Okay. The valid data type of the C and variable 1, 2 are the variable names. Okay. So data type is the type of the data and variable 1, 2 dash dash n are the list of variables. And variables are separated by the comma. Okay, the declaration statement must end with a semicolon. So each and every statement of the C must end with the semicolon. So some of the declarations are shown here. INT is the data type and roll number is the variable of INT data type. Semicolon. Similarly, float, average, double, pi, pi, pi variable and byte, b and char. 
C1, C2. So now C1 and C2 are the two variables of character data type. Okay. So C1, C2. So C1 and C2 are classified with the help of comma separated by comma operator. User defined data type declaration. C language provides a feature to declare a variable of the type of user defined type declaration which allows user to define an identifier that would represent an existing data type and this can later be used to declare the variables. Type def cannot create a new data type. Okay. The general form is type def data type identifier where type def is the user defined type declaration and data type is the existing data type of the C language and identifiers refers to the new name given to the data type. So here is the example. So type def int marks. So here type def is the user defined type, int is the existing data type and marks is the new name given to data type. Okay. Similarly, marks we can use as a data type and m1, m2, m3 variables we can declare as a marks data type variables. Another user defined data type is defined as enum. So enum identifier opening curly brace, the value 1, value 2, dash dash value n and closing curly brace semicolon. So here what we are doing, we are using enum, enum is the keyword and identifier is the numerated data type which can be used to declare a variable and that can have one of the values closed within the braces. Okay, so these values are called as numeration constants. The value remains same in the identifier. After this definition, we can declare a variable to be in this new type as enum identifier variable 1 comma variable 2 dash dash semicolon. Okay, the enumerated variables variable 1 comma variable 2 dash dash can only have one of the values value 1 comma value 2 dash dash examples are enum day opening curly brace monday comma tuesday comma dash dash comma sunday closing curly brace and semicolon so it is a enum definition next enum day week underscore st comma week underscore end semicolon so this is the declaration the day week st means starting week day and end is a end week day okay like we are assigning monday to week underscore st and uh, may week underscore st we are assigning one more value what happens the first value remains valid because monday is the part of the day Okay, so it is valid and may is not a part of the day, it is invalid. Okay, so declaring a variable as constant. The value of a certain variable to remain constant during the execution of the program. We can achieve this by declaring the variable with the qualifier const, C-O-N-S-T, at the time of initialization. For example, if I declare the variable class strength, as an integer data type variable and if I assign the value 40 to it, okay, I can make this class strength 40 as constant value of the variable. Then I will just use CONST const qualifier to qualify this variable as a constant variable. Okay, so scope of the variable. We have two types of uh, classifications in the scope of the variable. One is a global scope variable or external variable and second is the local variable. The global or external variables are declared before the function main. In the global declaration section, the variables which are declared are called as global variables. And these are the 
variables available for all the functions inside the program. Example, say int a comma b equals to 2. I have declared two variable a and b and b has two value and a has nothing so far. So I have main opening curly brace. This is the beginning dash 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 function fun opening and closing parenthesis semicolon. I am calling the function. So this is the function int sum semicolon sum equals to a plus b. So what happens already I have the value for b and a value is taken from the main function and it is added in the function a plus b whatever the sum value is there that value is going to display. Okay. Now the sum becoming the local variable here and a plus b a and b both are becoming the global variables. Okay. The sum cannot be used outside this fun function. So therefore it is called local variable and now a and b are accessed from here to here in fun function we are accessing we are not declared in it okay this is how you can uh, use the global and local variable and the scope of the variable in c language okay so kindly like share and subscribe my channel thank you